Hello everyone. Today we will continue to look at the question bank for the Hong Mao Certified Engineer. Next, we have question 6, which involves using to install roles. So next, we will use roles to carry out some service deployments and configurations. Therefore, in question 6, we will first install the roles using this tool, services. Ah, here. The initial installation is actually somewhat similar to the previous question. The installation process is quite similar to the previous question. You could even say it's almost the same. However, the content we are installing here is different. In the previous question, we mainly installed something related to our Ansible, our collection content. In this part, we are installing specific roles, specifically the rules role. Next, let's take a closer look at the installation method. First, according to the requirements of the question. What is it about? Ah, it's about our using Ansible Galaxy to install one of our. For the role, file, there are requirements regarding the file name that everyone should pay attention to. Ah, that's the first point. The second point is about the two installation paths, ita. It seems quite similar to the previous question. We can compare it with the previous question where we installed a collection, right? Here is this path. And for this question, it's this path. Well, how should I put it? They are actually the same. Both questions mention the installation path, and overall, they are the same, only the software packages being installed are different. The previous question mainly involved installing content from our collection, while the next question focuses on installing two specific services. One is HAProxy, and the other is PHP Info. Two contents. All right, next, let's take a look at the specific configuration method for this question. First, we need to create this file again according to the requirements of the question. Here, you need to pay attention to the fact that its path is different from the previous question. For the third question, what is the required path? It is under the directory. Yes. We created it under the ASM directory at that time, right? For the previous question, the requirements didn't specify exactly where to create it, so you could write it anywhere. Play. However, this question has specific requirements with a specific path requirement, so we need to create the requirements file under the rules directory. Here, everyone should be careful not to make mistakes with the file path. Also, don't try to modify the path of a question, um, that file. If you modify that file, your path will be incorrect, e. So first of all, we need to create our requirements file in this directory. Similarly, it requires it here. Everyone should note that this time, there is no requirement for a specific installation path. Please note the difference between question 5 and question 6. They are actually quite similar. These two questions are similar, but their specific requirements are not the same, so do not approach them in the same way. Their requirements are almost the same, right? It's all about installation, right? Both involve installing a specific service through a file. However, here, we can see that it is installed in under the My Collection directory in Ansible. This is a requirement in one of the installation questions. However, for question six, there is no specific installation requirement, which means we can install it in the default path. We don't need to specify a specific path. We just need to specify a file, which is this file here. Also, be careful not to specify the wrong file when installing, right? Make sure you don't specify the file for question five when you're working on question six. Ah, well, that would definitely be a mistake. If you point to the Wrong file, it can't really be considered an error, right? It just means you didn't install question 6, but installed question 5 twice. So here, first, let's take a look at editing the file. First of all, you must write the path correctly, right? Note that it's the rule directory inside because we are installing specific roles here. In the previous question, we installed the answer of collection, which is different. These are all installations, but the content of the installation is different. So here, first, let's open our terminal to edit. Now we are in the security artifact recording, right under the security highway, so we can directly edit the rules inside. Requirements. Dry ML. After adding requirements.iml, we edit it. First of all, here we have two different services, two, two different services. Here we can distinguish between them. We can distinguish between the two different services. The first one is 
The path is AGP colon. At this point, the path from the previous question is actually the same, actually the same. However, the file package and file name are not quite the same, meaning our installation package is not the same one. Ah, uh, for the first name, we can call it. Because with AJ proxy, what we mainly do is it's mainly used for high availability and load balancing, mainly for load balancing as a service. So here we use balance. Okay, that's the first one. As for the second one, we are. The previous path remains consistent. You can either copy it directly or type it again. Okay, here, after writing the path, be careful not to make a mistake with the name of the software package. This is fine. This question is relatively shorter compared to the previous one, meaning our software package name is shorter, so it's not as easy to make a mistake. After writing it here, we also define the name. PHP info, okay. These are the two software packages we need to install. The specific path has been declared and the name has been defined. Next, let's take a closer look. The installation is the same as the previous question, actually. We first save and exit. Before exiting, check everything and pay attention to the indentation. Pay attention to the indentation for this question. For the previous question regarding indentation, we only need to pay attention to one thing. Just make sure the first and second lines are indented. Okay, no problem. After that, the main thing to check is actually, well, our the names of the two software packages and pay attention, the main difference between the previous question and this one is that we can't see the previous questions. But let's talk about this question first. For this question, we can see that after we write each link, we add a name below it. In the previous question, we didn't do this, right? For this question, we just wrote three links and that was it. This is also a requirement difference between the two questions. The previous question only required us to normally install these three software packages, which was relatively simple. However, for this question, besides the normal installation, we also need to specify the role names. That is, when installing this role, we need to specify the role name. Why is that? The first one is balance. The second one is PHP info. Ah, we need to specify the role names. After installation, we need to specify the role names. This is a major difference from the previous question. We can now save and exit to take a look at the file from the previous question. The file from the previous question is in, well, it's directly in the requirements file. Let's open it. As you can see, we directly wrote the path without its own name. Or rather, you can see here that our name is the full path. The name is the complete path, which means by default, it uses its original name. And for this question, after installation, we specified something again. We respecified the name of this role. But, but this is the main difference between this question and questions five and six. These two questions are very similar, right? They are very similar, and the commands used are basically the same. However, in terms of specific details, you need to pay attention, pay attention to this. Okay, after this is done, the next step is to start the installation. For the installation, we directly use Ansible. You can directly install it with Galaxy. Here, after we save it, Ansible Galaxy. Then add our install command after it. For the installation here, what do we need? We only need to specify a file. In the previous question, we specified a directory, right? You should still remember we specified a directory, but for this task, what did we specify? We only specified a file, and there's one more thing to note. Let's see if we can find the command above. Ah, it's here, right? Besides the main command, what else does it have? Its installation is Ansible Galaxy Collection Install. Multi-page notebook, why is there an extra collection? Because the previous question mainly involved installing a collection for this question. What are we installing? Now, in this question, we are installing rules. The roles are different. This question may seem similar, but actually it has nothing to do with it. There is absolutely no connection if there is no installation content. One installs a role, one installs a collection, and one specifies an installation path. One is a default path. Here, we still need to specify a file, which is in the requirements within rules. Because we are already in this directory, we can use either a relative path or an absolute path. If you are worried about making a mistake, you can also use an absolute path. It's fine. It's actually the same. We just need to specify this file in the end. 
This is our goal. Once specified, we can press enter to install and see the effect. Here you can see that the time taken is slightly longer than the previous one. We can wait a little bit. Okay, download, complete, and then install. After downloading and installing, next we will also verify it. Actually, like the previous task, as long as it succeeds, there's not much need for verification. So it's still somewhat worth taking a look, right? Because this task actually has a difference from the previous one, which is that in this task, what's the significance of verifying? It's to see if your installation path is correct, right? It can check if the installation path is correct. But for this task, we haven't specified an installation path, right? We haven't specified it. So here, relatively speaking, it's not that. complicated, right? Or this task is relatively simpler, you can also verify it. Just that list. After Ansible Galaxy, um, the verification method is different. In the previous task, what we verified was, let's scroll up and take a look to compare, pay attention to the different verification methods. In the previous task, we used our Ansible Navigator to verify our collections, a basic situation, which collections were installed. And then through our command, we checked it the document for installing collections is like this. This was a verification for our previous task. The installed content is actually different. So the verification method is different. Everyone don't type the same command and find that there is a problem if this, if you type the same command for both tasks, at least one of them will definitely have an issue. The result is that you find it hard to identify the problem because their verification rates are completely different and the installed content is also different. Please pay more attention to this. First, let's take a look. Here we can use NC, Galaxy, followed by Galaxy list to directly do what? Here you can directly verify after pressing enter. It is currently processing, I'll wait, waiting for it. Processing, processing. It is loading our roles. Okay, it's loaded, loaded. Afterwards, there is actually quite a lot of content because I have already installed a lot before. Here we just added two new services, new software installed. For this, you, we can take a look at our specific service. We can see under user share Ansible rules, these are what we installed before. Some of these rules, there is a lot of content. So where was it just installed? It's above. Just now we based it on what? Based on the rules directory inside Ansible, or more precisely, under the latter directory. The content inside the rules directory under the Ansible directory in Greg was used for installation. That is, we installed the roles in this directory. Installed the roles in this directory. So it shows balance and perfume here. Info is in our current directory, in our current rules directory. This is one way we use Ansible's Galaxy to install roles method. Uh, the previous question was actually through our method. Anthony. Galaxy went to install the collection. This question is about using Ansible Galaxy to install ours. Roles, the difference between the two questions. And here you can see these two contents. Pay attention to what to check. Of course, there is also checking, right? What to check. Check because this question actually has a custom setting, which is this name. Let me see, uh, balance. No problem, right? The PHP inform below is fine. Okay, this is one of the requirements for us. So. What is the main thing to check in question five? Check your installation path and so on. Because as long as the installation is successful, you definitely don't need to check this software because it wasn't installed by you, right? It was installed automatically by us. So here, as long as there are no errors, it means your software has been successfully installed. What needs to be checked is what question five checks. Question five checks our installation path and question six checks one of our names, the names of the roles installed. One is balance and the other is PHP info, right? For question five, you need to check whether this path is under the home directory specified in our question. Inside my collection, that's all. This is one of our main differences. Ah, oh, the main difference between the two questions. Okay, once this is decided, here we are. The sixth question is finished. If you need the complete question bank, you can leave a comment below and purchase the most stable question bank at the best price. That's it for today, everyone. Goodbye.